So this is like the second part of my of Doubt and De Deity video. Uh, for, for many of you who haven't watched that video, um, a couple of weeks ago I posted a video talking about the period of doubt that I was going through um, on my, my path um, and how I was having problems reconciling the belief in deity. Um, and I think that the, those periods are necessary for everybody. And I think that um, here are some, some kernels of knowledge, wisdom, whatever you want, um, that I thought I would share with you guys. You don't have to take them, but if you want to, it, it's cool. Um, the first being, um, I think that there's a big difference between belief and faith. And um, I am definitely someone who believes, but I am not someone who is faithful. And what I mean by that is that um, everyone has ideas. Everyone has beliefs. It's, beliefs are inescapable and they're involuntary. Um, and it's, it's fine to have beliefs. And one should try, um, however much possible, to... Um, find other people who are like-minded because we enjoy community, right? Which is why we label ourselves and faction into religious groups and stuff like that. And you should try as whatever possible to find a religious group that lines up most with your personal epistemology, um, how you view the world. But that you should always give yourself room to accept change um, within that idea. And what I mean is that if you have a belief um, and then you find evidence to suggest that that belief is not true, more power to you. You should reserve the right to be able to change that belief. Um, and what that requires is not being faithful um, because faith is loyalty to one's belief. And why would you want to be loyal to an idea? I mean, our gods, if you believe in them, don't require, at least, for me, I've never seen God to be, um, at least not since I haven't been Christian, to be a demanding, um, fearful, you know, um, you must believe me or die type creature. I, I, um... I got away from Christianity because I disagreed with that aspect, or that was one of the reasons I left. I could really write a book on all the reasons why I'm not Christian, because it's... I think I list a new reason in every video. There's a lot of freaking reasons, okay? Um... But... Um, another thing I thought of was that the way that I see the world, which is that um, no matter how I look at it, I cannot escape the idea that this world is a dualistic world. Um, we have day and night, we have hot and cold, um, we have positive and negative energy. Um, and I'm not just talking like magical energy, I mean like freaking magnets. Um, and so there is. Um, an idea of duality. I also think that, um, you know, philosophically speaking, you know, that um, the uh, elements of earth, air, fire, water are um, something that makes a resonates with me and makes a lot of sense. Um, and so that's part of my worldview as well. Um, I see that, you know, things have properties and you know, um, people can argue all day long that uh, Aristotle was a sexist bastard, but his idea on properties eh, definitely needed to be modernized, but it was a starting off point. Um, so yeah, um, 
I think that um, altogether, um, I cannot deny that there are things in this world that I cannot explain, and that they seem to me to be more than just coincidences. For example, today I was in class and I, um, an old friend, somebody that I hadn't talked to since December, and that was only briefly, she popped into my head and I hadn't thought about her in a very long time. When I got home, almost immediately when I got home, she called. Um, some people will call that psychic. Some people will just say that's, you know, sheer coincidence. Um, but it happens to me pretty often. Things like that. I can, you know, don't really need caller ID too often. Um, and, and people might think that's bullshit and that's fine. You don't have to believe me. I'm definitely not here to tell you how to believe. Um, I'm just saying that for my own belief system, these are the things that add to my self-discovery. You know, um, the fact that I've seen what I believe to be ghosts um, makes me believe that there, there could be some sort of life after death. Do I pin all my hopes and dreams on that? Fuck no. You know, um, it could have been some kind of like time thing, right? It doesn't have to be that. It could have been, you know, a random brain fart that my husband and I and our friends just happened to all share together. Um, that's extremely unlikely. But um, the whole idea is, is that I have beliefs. I don't have faith. Which means you don't pin your hopes and dreams on that type of stuff. Now, do I have confidence when I'm doing magic and stuff like that? Yes, because I've seen it work for me. That doesn't mean that I have faith. Um, so I hope that clears some things up. Um, as to the question of whether or not I believe in deity, I think that there is um, an ultimate you know, dual theistic force of this universe. So I would have to say at this point, yes. Um, I do believe it, there is some sort of dualistic, um, you know, entity or entities out there. I, I prefer to think entities. Um, whether or not they give a shit about us, not sure. Um, I'm just gonna have to, you know, keep on trucking with that. But, I think that because, you know, if I, if I look at and examine my belief systems and I look at, for example, the principles of Wiccan belief, um, I can still pretty much line up all those things that I believe in with the principles of Wicca, so I would still consider myself to be Wiccan. Um, but I don't have faith. I just have belief. Um, and I think those terms are used interchangeably too much. I don't like the whole faith-based initiatives program. Okay, loyalty-based initiatives program? What the fuck? Um, I don't know. That's a subject for another video.